Now here we've got a Maxxis straight out of the box. Um, it's always good to prepare the spindle before installation. So it's good to turn the setting screw a bit. You can use the other end of the, the key to move the head and you can see internally that's moving up and down nice and smoothly. And so it's always good to wind the head into spindle. So you're always going to install it with the head at its highest point. So it's quite a simple operation. So you'll notice this one here, there's no markings here. So this is a standard turn spindle, whereas this spindle here has a C on it, which stands for contra turn. So we'll do the standard turn one first. You can see it's the head is wound up into the body. So we're just going to screw it in and lock it up with an 18 mil spanner, like you would a jump of our spindle. Now all you're going to do is turn the tap off. So, and turning the tap off is going to wind the head down. Now, we just turn the tap off, turn the tap off so the head's winding down. Now, as you feel it's starting to get a little bit firm, being a lever tap, you want to position it to that final closed position, which should be up there. Okay, now what you will do is you will use the setting spanner, put it down the spindle, and then you will then want to set the full open turn. So in this case, we want to have a quarter turn spindle. So we'll hold the handle there in that quarter turn position, and then we'll just wind the setting screw down till it comes to a complete stop. And there's our quarter turn tap. Now, if we didn't want to have a quarter turn, we wanted to make it, say, a half turn tap, we can wind the same screw, holding our spindle there, and now we've made a half turn tap. Okay, we've got our spindle straight out of the pack. You can see this is a contra one because there's the C laser etched there. Contra me is going to turn off in the other direction to the standard turn. And again, we make sure it's all nice and free by turning the, the setting screw, moving the head, and then the spindle up and down as well. So again, we want to wind the head into the body so it will be at its highest point when we go to install it. So again, we just install like we would standard type of spindle. And you notice how there's flats on it. So the 18 millimeter spanner can sit on any part of those flats and it can then rotate. So we do that nice and firm. Then what we do is we turn the tap off. By turning the tap off, we're going to set the spindle um, positioning onto the head. So it's gonna wind the head out onto that spindle, right? Onto, sorry, onto the seat. And just before you get to that end point, you want to angle the lever to go, where's the correct positioning? So we know that that's the correct positioning there. And now what we're going to do is set the turn. So we'll then turn where we want to set the turn. So this one here, we can see that we have a half turn. So we'll do a half turn on this one as well. So again, we take the handle off, pop the settings spanner down. Again, that's in the off position. And now all we do is we move it to the full open position, which was our half turn. And we wind the setting screw down. So not overly hard, just so it's nice and firm. And then there's our half turn tap on both sides. Now ready for testing and the installation of dress rings, flanges and handles.